Good morning everybody. After substantial digging and looking around at this garden, etc., um, I'd like you to see something. We've, I've been doing a lot of uh, deeper, I guess what we call, trying to get the soil in good condition. And so that takes putting compost a little bit deep. But in the process, there's a lot of this builder sand, but it's really not builder sand. It's a hydrophobic sand, meaning that it uh, pushes water away. That um, that's used on tennis courts to make them dry super fast. So it's meant to kill things, not to allow things to live because it has no porous surfaces. That's why they call it hydrophobic. Um, anything with a porous surface will tend to absorb water and microbes and the goodness of the dirt, whereas things that um, have no pores cannot absorb. Um, they make, uh, oh, what's it called? Basically, chemical name for it, but they, they make uh, emollients? No, it's not an emollient, but I have some of it up there. Um, and it attaches to the sand and makes the sand uh, less hydrophobic. But I found by accident a really good example of exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the area out here in front of the... You see the little line there? That's another issue we've got. And um, let's see here. Also, where is it? You know, the sinkhole, where there's the sinkhole, and there's the second one. So we got two little sinkhole issues um, that should be addressed prior to, uh, to putting lawn in. Um, also, the roof overflowing on very light rains is flooding this area regularly, and that's what's causing the sinkholes, actually, not broken pipes. Um, I love experts. They have all the answers as long as you pay them, right? Um, but let's look at this issue right here. Right down here, I've got a, if I can get it right, I've got a couple of test holes. Now watch, I'm going to turn on a little bit of water on this pipe. Okay, can you see it? We got some, we got, we got some water going. Now, it's not a lot of water, but it's, it's what would pour out of a, about half of what would pour out of a tap or out of a, of a good thing. Notice that it settles on the top of the dirt, which is fine. That's, that's pretty good. But watch this. I'm going to go into the dirt and watch the pipe, and then watch what the water level does when I go into the dirt. Um, it's hard for me to see what you can see, but try this. Watch this. Go into the dirt, and then before you know it, the water goes away. All that water is disappearing immediately. And I can leave this in there for an hour and it won't change. What this is telling me is that the sand underneath and or something underneath is channeling the water away, which makes common sense. I mean, when you see what it's doing, most places when you stick a, a pipe down in a hole like that, you'll see uh, the water come back out, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but here, uh, look at it again. Okay, I don't know what you can see, but let's see. Hopefully you can see that. See the water? I mean, well, see the lack of water? And no tricks. Pull it up, it works. Put it down. I need to clear the hole again. You can do another hole right next to it. Boom. Oh, it's coming out of this other one, but it's because it's, it's transferring through the sand. So if we go over here, do a new one, it's just, it's all being sucked away. Now, what am I worried about with this? Hmm. Well, I think there's a lot of money potentially going out in a lawn. And my gut feeling is, when you're on top of this type of sand, any lawn that you put in, you're going to have problems keeping it alive. Because any water that goes onto it is going to be sucked right away. Um, the soil needs a little bit of clay in it. It also needs mulch. I've been keeping mulch here from when I raked the yard. And here I've got a hole that is about half a meter deep 
and I pack it full of, of uh, the lawn rakings right over here. Here's the pile of dirt out of that hole. Now what will happen is I'll put the dirt back in the hole on top of the leaves and the leaves will mulch and turn into good stuff. And um, if I put a little bit of clay with that sand that I'm putting back in the hole, this would be lovely soil for anything to grow in. Um, well, here I've still got this thing going, if you want to see. And the water handle is on. I can leave this going for a long time and no water comes out of the hole. Where is it going? Question mark. Hmm. Okay, well this is for you guys to review. Um, potentially before we spend a lot of money on a lawn that I doubt anybody can guarantee is worth it. Um, what I propose to do is the lawn that you see behind me, which is actually very, very cost effective. And, um, yes, any lawn uses a little bit of water, but you know, such is life. You want to have something nice to look at and a nice place to live. But I propose to uh, take exactly what I've done here, which is not a whole lot of work, and move it out front. This grass will co-mingle co with whatever, but if the buffalo we have now can't survive, I don't know why new buffalo is going to survive. <sighs> okay, so the whole walkway could be done. Wouldn't cost anybody anything except for me. Um, and you guys a little bit of water. It's your choice. Thank you for listening. Good day.